All right, basic swamp pass for Eric. Uh, and a portent hits the stack for force of fill. Happen until the next update. Eric not having every single legacy relevant card ever memorized needs to an explanation of portent. If you can believe it. Are these matches blind? Um, I think by blind, do you mean do they know what each other are playing? I mean, a lot of the players you see on stream play at the same shop with each other every week and we have some idea what each other are playing but sometimes it's blind. Four cards now. Yeah, yeah, I get to it. It's pure to it's pure into the abyss. I didn't see this card. Portent into the abyss. Is Portent in this card? Well, no, it's a silver city. I'll keep it all. That'd be sick. In your upkeep. Uh, I'm going to pass the turn and draw in your upkeep. Yeah, I'll keep it. It's good. Oh, right. All right, drawing on upkeep with Portent. Has the delayed trigger, much like Mishra's Bobble, for anybody not familiar. It's Ponder, but you can choose your opponent. And then you draw in the beginning of the next upkeep. All right, so here's Lotus Petal and a Badlands for Eric. And his Burning Wish. Let's see if that resolves. That's one of the spells out of Storm that you want to think about countering. It'll resolve, it'll exile itself, and we'll see what Eric finds. It finds Galvanic Relay. Galvanic Relay. Uh, I'm going to start here. Yeah. And another Brainstorm here for Force of Fill. Putting two back. Fetching with Flooded Strand. Taller Eric making a point in chat. Interesting for Eric to hang the pedal out into prismatic ending. Yeah, the lotus pedal is vulnerable, I guess. I'm not much of a Storm player, but I think the YouTube commenters who play Storm will be weighing in on everything that's going on. We'll see. We'll see what they have to say. Ponder here for Force of Fill after the fetch. Cleared the top. And it's a shuffle. Maybe looking for interaction. You usually want to interact with cards like Burning Wish, so maybe Force of Fill did not have a counter in the opener, but, you know, we just had a twi uh, Twitch chatter asking if this was in the blind. It's not really, you know. We Eric probably sat down knowing Phil was on Miracles. Phil probably sat down knowing Eric was on Storm, so. All right, a fetch here for Eric. Force of Phil says I'd play another fetch, so you still have 13 white sources, but you could run another island depending on your meta. Yeah, some some uh, discussion of mana bases for miracles happening in the chat. Anarchy Inducer, thanks for the resub. 29 months for Anarchy Inducer. What's up, Greg? How's it going? Thanks, Greg. All right, waiting for this ponder to resolve for Eric. Whoops. Uh, 
This is taking a moment. All right, draws off Ponder. Uh, and passing the turn now is Eric. Tundra into counterbalance. All right, so we saw counterbalance quite a bit in the previous match on today's stream. The card is still very powerful and relevant in Legacy. And it's quite good against Storm as well. They have a lot of zeros and ones that they're trying to cast. We know about a Galvanic Relay in Eric's hand. It's the only card that's known at this point to fill. Mox Opal comes down. It will resolve. Maybe Eric testing the waters. Or throwing a zero into the the stack but it resolves so maybe a one is on top for Phil let's see here's brainstorm actually we, do, we don't know D does Phil know the top card of the deck I'm trying to think now when was that ponder cast that wasn't this turn it's the previous turn so is the top card known I can't remember Looks like the brainstorm resolved. Yeah, the, the the card on top should be known. Yeah, but maybe it's not a zero or a one, or maybe Phil trying to play some games, some mind games here. Who knows? Taiga comes down and a lion's eye diamond. <laughs> lion's eye diamond hitting the stack. Counterbalance trigger. Brainstorm in response to counterbalance trigger. Lion's eye diamond is on the stack. Yeah, both players getting on the same page with Storm Count. Storm is four currently. <laughs> Triumph on top to counter ad nauseum would be hot. Yeah, that is that is pretty sick actually. All right, Lion's Eye Diamond is going to resolve, which is interesting. Veil of Summer. I think it, it even has yeah. sign here. Veil of Summer will resolve. Interesting. Drawing a card off Veil of Summer since Phil cast the Brainstorm. So... Did Eric just pass the turn? No. Can't be. Okay, I thought I saw a gesture there. Storm is five. Veil of Summer cover for now. Clarifying the interaction between Villa Summer and Counterbalance. Counterbalance basically shut off. Is Right of Flame for Eric, puts two red mana in the pool. Yeah, Phil must be hoping for a dud relay. Exactly. We know about the Galvanic relay in hand. If you just joined us, there was a Galvanic relay found off the Burning Wish. Early in this, earlier in this game, and Force of Phil on the left is hoping we're 
just going to have a turn where that ends with galvanic relay and it's a whiff. That's the best thing you could hope for here. <laughs> Force of Hill actually without any hope. Or without any hope. Okay, Wishclaw Talisman using one of the red that, that was in the pool. It, it, of course, will resolve. He gets his three counters. Only one red floating. Looks like seven storm. I can't really see that D20. Maybe people watching at home could see it a little bit better. Lion's Eye Diamond getting cracked. Sacking, the, uh, discarding the Galvanic Relay. So that's been thrown away now. Making three black mana. So four mana in the pool. Wishclaw Talisman getting activated. Eric has a, and it's just next to me right here, a tapped Mox Opal and then a Lotus Petal right here. Okay, finding Ad Nauseam. Has enough mana with the Lotus Petal for Ad Nauseam. Four mana floating in the pool. Putting the card up in the top center of your screen. If I'm not mistaken, Storm is currently seven. I, I've kind of lost track of how many things will cast this turn, but with the Ad Nauseam, it might go up to eight. All right, so now Storm will be eight. Ad Nauseam going on the stack. Should be game winning. Lotus Petal, Defense Grid, it doesn't really do a lot. Brainstorm, Burning Wish, uh, needs mana. Chrome Mox, Wishclaw Talisman, Right of Flame. That is that game. Uh, quite yet. Another Wishclaw Talisman. Another Brainstorm. He's a mana rock. Mm. A mox opal. Okay, so there is a mox opal, as I said, up here, but it can be replaced. It's tapped. Volcanic Island. Another wish claw down to six life is Eric now. Has two. I mean, has a. Um, excuse me. Has a, a petal and a mox opal, and a chromox. Chromox. Hmm. Has a burning wish, which can find a kill. Wish called talisman can find a kill, but maybe not enough mana. How many? There's only one right of flame. There is a right of flame in the yard. Yeah, it needs a dark ritual. I think Darth Sunstriker is right in tw in chat. Down to four now, revealing burning wish, which is redundant. <laughs> Tendrils? Oh, that was Dark Ritual. <laughs> I thought that was Tendrils for a second. I thought you said Tendrils. Okay, that Dark Ritual should be game then? Down to three now is Eric, and I think we're stopping there with Ad Nauseam, getting a little risky. Playing the pedal. Storm is nine. Playing the Chromox, Storm is 10. Pitching a Burning Wish, don't need that anymore. Right of Flame can make three red. There's Mox Opal. Dark Ritual can make three black. The other Mox Opal could sacrifice, fill points out, yes. Right of Flame, it's three red. Storm is plenty now. Phil helping out. Dark Ritual, three black. Burning Wish and Centennial should do it here. Let's see. Uh, 
It's taking a while. Burning Wish and Phil starting to scoop it up. There's Tendrils of Agony. Okay. So game one goes to Storm. There was the Petal, the Opal, and the Chromox, right? All right. Fetching Scalding Tarn. All right. Good looking out, Twitch chat. All right. Here's a turn one. Tundra into, let's see. Ponder for Force of Fill. Yeah, the art the artifacts were, and sorry about that, if they were hard to see everybody, but they were tucked all up in the top uh, part of the screen right here, and they might have been hard to see. All right, a Chromox here for Eric, who pitches a Rite of Flame. Wish called Talisman. Gets three counters and passes the turn. Wish called Talisman, another card. If you're, if you're, you know, if you have counter magic, you're, you're countering that. That the card is really good. You can't counter Tendrils of Agony. You know what I mean? You, you're, you're trying to counter. Unless you have like Fluster Storm or Mind Break Trap or something. But uh, you're trying to counter spells like Burning Wish, Wish Claw Talisman most of the time. That, that, that's what you're looking to do. And Force of Fill removing it with Prismatic Ending is quite good as well. Definitely worth firing that off. The card is key for finding the pieces that Storm needs to win. Finding a tropical island here is Eric. And Carpet of Flowers, okay. The flowers are resolved. And here comes the Storm counter card. Let's see what um, Eric has in store for us. Counterbalance. Counterbalance is quite good. Putting a zero or a one on top could stop a lot of what Storm is trying to do. Wish Call Talisman could help Eric find a solution for it, though. It's kind of rude on the rocks. <laughs> All right, casting a Rider Flame. Portent revealed on top. That'll counter Rider Flame. All right, Eric's going to pass here. With a one on top for Phil. Uh, I, uh, I get to name the top card and then I draw two cards. But I was like, I name the top card and kill it. Worth it to leave if I'm correct, I draw two. Yeah. I'm going to draw him. Yeah, yeah so two. I was like, Plus well, two. if he's got. Uh, uh, all right, an upkeep predict here, it looks like, for Force of Phil. Now I'm drawing for turn. Knew the top card, it was Portent, which made it easy to, to predict. And uh, two extra card draws. Quite nice. Now passing the turn. Yeah, it's Looks like a full grip for Phil. Full hand. Yeah, sure. It's really only for Delver. Oh, yeah. Sure. I don't really know. Adding two black with Carpet of Flowers here in first main phase. Not only for... I'm trying to power that out. Yeah. And the last thing I need is to get a rack. Yeah, another fetch would have made it possible to Mystic Sanctuary. 
to put a one on top. A volcanic island revealed on top of the library, and this dark ritual will resolve. So four black mana floating now for Eric. Keith Master Flex predicting going for Wishclaw into relay, possibly. Okay, using all the mana in the pool, and here's Ad Nauseam hitting the stack. No mana floating now for Eric. Let's see if Phil has a response. Uh, yeah, exactly. Uh, uh, I think someone's deck on me completely crushes that. Mm. Yeah, that's why you need Brazen Barber. Uh, well. Deb Finn, thanks for the follow. Welcome. All right, here's Force pitching Portent on Ad Nauseam. Ad Nauseam, you know, uh, I was talking about cards in Storm that you want to counter. Ad Nauseam is one of them. Let's see if Veil of Summer is available. Force on the stack targeting this ad nauseum. The Wayfarer is just like, I. Four search for land sometimes. You have a lot of search effects. Do you not have a knife or open? You're in the mail. In the mail, uh, along with Dryad Arbor. I could have brought you all this thing. And two Fujiri steps. Do you want to reveal to me what you got for me? You know what? All right, Wish Call Talisman getting activated here. Finds Veil of Summer. Doesn't even bother hiding it, just reveals that's what I found. And Veil of Summer going on the stack. Counterbalance trigger going on the stack. And a fetch for Phil. There's a way to. There's one way to reset the top card to the library. I fetch land. Let's see if Phil can get a one. Okay. Well, Phil has a brainstorm still with the counterbalance trigger on the stack. So that's one way to set this up. Looking for a way to counter Vela Summer, and Ponder revealed that counters it. So Ad Nauseam is countered, and Eric passes the turn. A great turn there for Phil, who now has a Wishclaw Talisman. Highly unlikely it will ever be used. I see four, well, three right here. Oh, sure. Do you play Jade Statue? Yeah. 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 Pond area on the stack. Yeah, you got a ton of stuff. I learned when I was putting this binder together, that's the only Antiquities card that doesn't have an Antiquities symbol on it. Really? Yeah. They just forgot to put it on there. I think I've got revised ones. What? Reconstruction? <laughs> Kevin's such a beacon of positivity. In the yeah. Yeah. Uh, All right, Mystic Sanctuary, putting Predict on top. Lavinia. <laughs> wow. All right. Lavinia comes down. Lavinia Azorius Renegade, that is. I just shared the uh, card text in the chat. Yeah, I'm down too. Yeah. Two? I was just gonna do that instead. Just not even bother with Warlord? Or not even playing Warlord. Huh. Is Warlord just so dangerous? <laughs> like, I have to go for it. Oh, I lose. <laughs> Lavinia basically shuts off all the zero mana value cards in Eric's deck. Spells anyway. And uh, can't cast non-creature spells with mana value greater than the number of lands they control. So can't cast spells with more than three mana value currently. Predict. Naming Jace the Mind Sculptor, putting on the bottom, putting in the graveyard. So protecting this Lavinia is basically... Uh, the game plan here for Force of Phil. It's going to be really hard to lose with this card in the battlefield. Like, five colors too. Easy, just like, uh, 
In fact, it's probably uh, impossible for Eric to win with Lavinia on the battlefield. All right, Triumph of St. Catherine will come in on Eric's upkeep, and that'll speed up the clock quite a bit. And also, you know, gaining five life a turn makes Storm have to be that much higher for a card like Tendrils. It's worth something. Yeah. A Wish Claw Talisman getting activated here. I mean, getting countered here, but a Wish Claw or any. Uh, even just drawn for turn and abrupt decay could blow up Lavinia and then try to win there. So right now it's three lands and ten caps or, or higher draw. All right, that's a scoop, and we're going to game three. Well played there. All right, players drawing up here for game three. Still putting one on the bottom. Chromox. Imprinting Veil of Summer. Cup of Flowers. That'll resolve. Prismatic ending on carpet. That's a card you want to remove. All right, there's a Lion's Eye Diamond. <laughs> Flooded Strand. And a prismatic ending on Lion's Eye Diamond now. All right, so the artifacts are getting blown up at this point. Chromox, the only permanent on the board for Eric. Polar Bear is here. It says played against a reanimator opponent from your shop at MTG 30. Nothing but the highest regards for you and what you do for the community. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you for being here. Queena says I go back and forth on whether Phil or Sam is the best dressed person on 90s MTG. <laughs> I mean, I, I, honestly, I thought I was the best dressed, but okay. What I mean, whatever. Uh, I'm not taking it personally, but what, whatever. Whatever you think is fine. You know, Queena's just uh, basically told everybody I have no style. <laughs> There's Sam in the chat. Sam's happy. <laughs> All right, an underground sea gets found here. Triumph of St. Catherine is on the battlefield. And Twitch chat, we have one person that is excited about it. One person. So far. Uh, All right, brainstorm here. Lotus Petal. Defense Grid. Okay, Defense Grid's a good card. Let's see if Force of Phil has anything to say about that one. Of course, Phil does have three mana. Could pay for Defense Grid with something like Force of Will.
Darwi says, big fan of the Triumph and Thwart Miracles deck from Phil Lately. Yeah, we all are. We all are. Are my playmats available for purchase? Yes, they are. You can find them on Int Gaming. Link just shared in the chat. It's also posted down below if you're watching this later on YouTube. Go get yourself a playmat, everybody. Go get yourself a 90s magic playmat. They look dope. I've been told. I've been told. I don't think that myself. <laughs> All right, Mystic Sanctuary. Just putting Portent on top. <laughs> and what was that? Oh, uh, where, uh, where or tear? I always forget which one is which. Blew up defense curtain. Here's counterbalance. I think it was where. Uh, w H E R E T A R E, wear tear. Right, everybody? Nobody knows. Porton. All right, so drawing a card off Portent, counterbalance is available. It's most likely a zero or one on top of the library. And Eric has to fight through that and also fight through St. Catherine giving Phil five life a turn. There's Chromox. It'll imprint a Burning Wish. And casting a Burning Wish. Tapping the two Chrome boxes. Counterbalance trigger. Reveals counterbalance. Okay, so that's that's just brutal. Eric scooping it up. I guess, le I guess leaving a two on top is clever as well. All right, good games. Well played. 